Well, Oregon, as we mentioned, uh, did not push anyone around uh, in its first meeting against um, Utah, but certainly pushed around uh, some Buckeyes uh, in one of the more impressive wins of the season to get uh, that Pac-12 conversation started and going for the rest of the season. And Oregon single-handedly kept this conference relevant and in the college football playoff conversation. Well, that went away a couple weeks ago, again, at Utah. So... Um, we're not going to get to see the Ducks necessarily against one of the top four or five teams in the country in the playoff. Um, They do have the opportunity to get to a Rose Bowl. Who knows that matchup may be a rematch against Ohio State. I think people are buzzing about that. That would be a coup for the Rose Bowl, certainly. Uh, That said, unless they get a matchup like that, uh, we, again, may not be able to see Oregon match up against one of the better teams in the country. But... How how good truly is this Oregon team if you're talking the elite tiers of college football? What do you think they're lacking, and how do you think they stack up against, if you would go on down the line, Georgia, Alabama, Michigan, Ohio State, whomever else? See, for this Oregon team, this question is really hard to answer because they'll show up one week and look like world beaters, and then the next week they'll look like the whole world could beat them. Uh, like, for instance, just – We've touched on this player many a times. Anthony Brown plays a very mediocre to bad game against Utah. Goes up against Oregon State. Throws on the run for a 50-yard touchdown right into the wide receiver's breadbasket. I don't know where that came from. But, like, let's say he's playing like that all year. We could probably beat anybody in the country. It just it depends on what like what's going on with the team. There's a long injury list. Obviously, injuries are going to happen to any team. Um, but... If I truly had to try and gauge it, I do honestly think we're anywhere from that three to seven range. And I don't think there's a big gap between any of those teams, three to seven. I, I think one and two, you pretty much have with with uh, Georgia and Michigan right now. I wouldn't have Alabama, too. I'd have them in that three to seven range as well. And there's a lot of teams there. And when they're all healthy and given the right circumstances, they could all beat each other. I, I think it would be really fun. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see. I to touch on the bowl game thing, you know, it's really possible that that the Alamo or something of the sort gets Ohio State and Oregon if Iowa beats Michigan somehow. And imagine imagine like this lower, not lower tier bowl, it's still a quality bowl game. Sure. But you know, that bowl's gonna get higher ratings than the Rose Bowl. Like, when does that ever happen? Or what I've what I've been talking to some people about, some not you know, some of the guys at fifth quarter, uh Oregon is expected to get a lot of their injured players back for their bowl game. So if we went out there and Lord forbid lose to Utah and get this like mediocre to bad bowl game and all of our players come back, like we're just going to have to go blow out some, some seven win team. Like it's just, it's a really weird season. I don't know how to contextualize this season because you beat Ohio state, but you lost to Stanford. You know, it's so weird. A Stanford team, they couldn't win a game after they beat Oregon. Yeah, they have not won a game since. And we did beat a good Oregon State team, but that team also I don't think has won a single game on the road. Or if they have, they've won one. But they haven't won a single game on the road, I don't think. 